I feel a lot better today. Oh, that's another dick. What is up, everyone out there at YouTube? It is Tim.TV here, and you might be noticing I'm a little bit less energetic than normal. I'm not as loud as I usually am, and that's because I'm still really, really sick. But one thing I've been doing while I was sick is instead of laying in bed or instead of actually recovering from my illness, I've just been sitting and, and playing Astroneer. And I, this is going to be a really different type of video. It's going to be kind of uh, out of the ordinary from a lot of the stuff that I usually make. But I just wanted to walk around the area that I've built with my friends and just kind of show you guys how cool this game is and just how much fun I had playing this because I've been fucking miserable the past couple of days, to be honest with you guys. I, I don't know how you guys are when... Uh, when you get sick, but whenever I'm sick, um, it, I just get upset. It gives me too much time to think. I like to surround myself with activities. Uh, I like to keep busy um, all the time, but but when I'm sick, all, all I do when I'm sick is, is I just sit there and I just think about things all day long, and I, I'd rather be working or, or accomplishing things, so that sucks, but I decided to download Astroneer on Steam and give it a shot, and this just totally ripped my mind away from anything, and I just got lost in this space world, pretty much, and this isn't the beginning of the game, in case you couldn't already tell, I actually have a lot of stuff around here, my base is pretty terribly designed, there's a bunch of holes in the ground, uh, for those of you who don't know very much about this game, the easiest way to explain it is that it's pretty much space Minecraft, and you can, uh, you can actually dig up the terrain, or you can add more ground two things like I'm gonna fill in this hole really quick one thing that happens in the game is there's actually gigantic dust storms that can knock away all your shit and they can actually kill you so I dig holes into the ground and hide there until the dust storms are gone I don't know if there's any better ways to do that but yeah so I was playing this in co-op uh, as you can see we built dicks on top of our houses for whatever reasons <laughs> so that's pretty funny but um yeah this game actually has co-op and I've just been walking around the world and exploring all the these different new areas and just seeing everything that this game has to offer and I really just wanted to show it to you guys too in hopes that you guys could have the same level of experience that I had playing this game because I really just want to drive around okay thank god I was gonna say I want to find my rover so I can go on a little adventure and kind of show you guys what's up uh, let me put this down here how the fuck am I gonna get this rover out of the ground um oh my god holy shit this is gonna be hard. If I terraform the ground around it, maybe if I maybe if I suck out a lot of stuff, I'll be able to make a little bit of a ramp, and then I can just fill it in, and we can worry about this later. Oh fuck, I'm out of power. Uh, I don't have any power on my backpack. That's one thing that's super cool about this game is the way inventory management is handled. It's like every single piece of your inventory is actually a physics object located in the game. Uh, I built a chest, but for example, Ross decided that uh, rather than store his stuff in a chest, he's going to store all of his shit in a hole. Um, I don't know where his storage hole is. I'm actually a little worried. I hope that it's still here. Oh, okay, here it is. Here's the storage hole with all the shit that he's keeping in there. But pretty much the main reason I'm making this video and the main reason I wanted to bring this to you guys is because I haven't actually experienced a video game that has made me feel the way this game makes me feel in, in such a long time. Alright, so now that I got my rover out of here, I want to talk to you guys about the main reason I decided to make this video, and it, and I went over it briefly earlier, but no game has really made me feel the way that this game has made me feel since pretty much playing Minecraft for the first time, and I know that I and a lot of other creators like to make jokes about Minecraft because the community around it on YouTube is definitely a little different than it was a long time ago, but everybody has played Minecraft for the first time and thought that that game was one of the coolest things pretty much in history. I it's it's so much fun and it was so creative and at the time there was just nothing else like it and for some reason nothing has given me that feeling until I've played Astroneer and I mean I guess the only other game that kind of made me feel like that would probably be Terraria because that game was really cool and me and my friends uh, from school had a lot of fun playing this game but I guess that it's just something about the art style and just the general atmosphere of this game that can really just rip you away from the situation that you're currently in and for example when when I was sick uh, and I'm still sick I, I don't know why I'm saying when I was sick you guys can very clearly hear in my voice that I'm still sick but um, when I was sicker to the point where I couldn't really leave my bed all I was doing is just sitting there and just thinking about everything 
everything that's wrong or everything that's bad in my life or or things that I don't have or blah 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 just really getting locked into an incredibly negative frame of thinking and I always try to be that person that that's usually the grass is greener or like there's always a good side to this situation or or something like that but when you're just sick in bed and just everything fucking sucks like you can't even eat you can't even watch TV like you can't do anything because everything is just clouded by the fever you have it really sucks and it's super easy to get trapped inside your own head and that and that happened and that and that happened for a really long time and I was just sitting there I was just sitting there depressed really and then once I picked up this game it's like literally everything changed it's it's almost like the cloud that I had put pretty much over myself had, had been lifted and I could actually experience things for what it is and I know that it's a little silly that I'm saying that a video game has given me that level of introspection into life something as simple as a pre-alpha game this game is in pre-alpha to give me that level of uh, I guess a mental jump start but at the same time I'm sure you guys can see it too as I just drive around this procedurally generated area like this game is just so beautiful and there are so many different things you can do there's so many different areas to explore I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface of what this game has to offer yet and that's just something that gets me so so excited oh my god holy fucking shit I almost drove my car into the cliff I hate driving my rover off of things because I can never get it back up but Oh my god, I just wanted to share this with you guys, and I really just wanted to show this to you, because I know that other YouTubers have been starting to get on the hype train of, as well, and have been starting to play it themselves, but I've just never really found a game that has been, I guess, just this much fun to me in, in the longest time, and I was talking about it with a couple of my friends, and I, I've been saying it for a while, I, I always like to have something to sink time into, um, it's like, I, I like keeping myself busy, I like always doing things that, like, almost any given time because I tend to get in my own head a lot and uh, I, I, I'm kind of restless like I'm always thinking about 800 different scenarios about like every single situation and stuff like that so it's like having the opportunity to just essentially just sink my head into something and just almost mindlessly grind is, is really what I've been doing just to, to think of it I guess but it's like really just to have something this cool and in this early stages of development just has me so excited because the potential for this game is absolutely endless I mean it takes place in space first of all I don't even know half of what's available in this game first of all like I'm I'm sure that there are people who know what they're doing that are looking at my base and thinking like Tim what the fuck like this is absolutely disgusting this doesn't make any sense and you know what I'd probably agree with them but one thing I've been trying to do with this game is not look up any guides not look up anything not look up uh, any way on how to like find crafting recipes or how to actually build things and I've just been trying to find out everything myself and I've been doing okay so far as you can see I've built a, a pretty decent sized base I've built a pretty decent sized settlement here but I've been having a lot of trouble actually trying to find out where different materials are located and just I guess navigating the map and stuff like that so I might have to resort to looking up something eventually but I thought that was actually really cool being able to take a purist look at something and going back to what I was saying earlier with the fact that this game is in pre-alpha there's just so much room for this game to grow there's so much more that this game has to offer that the developer hasn't even been able to implement yet because it just started holy shit what the fuck I think I meant to research this a while ago, but I never got the chance. I put solar panels on my researcher so I can actually just go and do this really quick. I don't need any batteries, so let's see what's in here. These little research fruits, these are things you can find in caves. And I haven't even gone into a cave in this video, I just realized. But you can find these things in caves, and they give you either blueprints or they give you different materials. Let's see what I got. I just got a drill head. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm not too sure how that's going to help me because I already have my terraforming tool and stuff like that. But yeah, so besides all the dicks that people have drawn on this landscape, <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful and I just can't wait to see what this game has to offer. And this is really all I've been doing. I've really just been playing this game over and over again. I, I should probably be laying down or, or I honestly what I should do is just fucking go to a doctor because I need to go to a doctor and see what's up because I keep getting sicker. I feel a lot better today. Oh, that's another dick. But I feel a lot better today than I did yesterday, which is a step in the right direction. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video pretty much rambling about Astroneer for a little bit. 
I really don't think I got anything done. Uh, actually, before I go, I want to show you guys what a cave looks like because these are really cool. Like the cave. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Don't, don't die. Don't. Oh, wait. I can go in here. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, fuck. That was a pretty solid drop. But yeah, just the feeling that you get when exploring a gigantic cave in this game is just ridiculous. Like, I keep making parallels between this game and Minecraft, and as someone who doesn't necessarily enjoy Minecraft anymore, probably because I've been playing that game also since it was in pre-alpha was the first time I played Minecraft back in probably earlier than 2010. Oh shit, poisonous gas! Wait, wait, aluminum ore? Alright, hold on guys, this is actually really cool. What, what, ah! Ah, is this thing fucking hurting me? I'm like grabbing stuff that I don't think I want to. But, um, let me grab this really quick. But yeah, I was gonna say, Minecraft really lost its wonder for me, and granted there are mods on mods on mods that can help me get that feeling back if I ever wanted to revisit the game, but I don't really have any intentions of doing so. But actually being able to, I guess, follow a game's development from the beginning again, hop in on the ground floor of a project that I believe is going to have so much potential just really makes me almost have faith in, in the world. And this game came out in, uh, in mid-December. I think December 15th was the actual release date of the game. So I'm sure that there's going to be a lot more content added to this game in 2017. And I haven't seen the developer's roadmap or actually looked up anything in, in reference to the game yet, as I was saying earlier, because I wanted to make this as pure of a playthrough as possible. And speaking of which, if you guys would like to see some more Astroneer, Please make sure to tell me because I'm just making this video because I haven't uploaded in a long time and I really just want to tell you guys what I'm doing and I guess just kind of get that itch myself I have out of because whenever I'm sick like I was saying earlier I, I I hate not being able to get anything done and I feel like I'm lazy and even though I know that's what sick people are supposed to do is recover I being I guess a YouTuber and being the only one accountable for my channel and my actions and producing content for you guys it, it really weighs on me when I can't do those things for you so it's like i wanted to do this but if you guys want me to turn this into an actual series or continue to play astroneer on the channel i i would definitely be happy to do so because i really haven't had this level of enjoyment for something in so long and see look now i have an aluminum bar and i actually have this 3d printer over here which i can use to create a whole bunch of different stuff um what I should really do is probably build a habitat so I can go to somewhere that we haven't completely destroyed and pretty much rebuild my base from the ground up because this place looks like shit right now. Like, oh my god, I really just need to spend probably a day just terraforming out the landscape and just making everything just look all right because what the fuck is going on? But yeah, I'm honestly just going to keep rambling for hours. I could just keep playing Astroneer for as long as possible so i'm gonna end this video before it gets too long but yeah guys thank you for sitting here and listening to me ramble i really appreciate it um astroneer is so much fun this game really makes me feel like a kid again i i honestly don't know how to explain it life is weird and there's a lot of weird stuff that happens in life and it's really easy to get caught up in all that weird stuff and let it get to you but Every once in a while, there are experiences like this and some other things or maybe hanging out with some good friends or things that really get your mind back in the right place and let you know that everything is okay and that there's so much cool shit everywhere. You just need to know where to look. But yeah, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope I feel better soon. I hope uh, today is like the last day of me being sick and that tomorrow I'll be back to full swing. But that's what I said when I made the other vlog and I still felt like shit the next day. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and uh, sub if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.